Hi, I'm Jenny and I can't cook yet. Um, this is another recipe that I know, so it might not be all that interesting, but uh, my mom loves it, so I thought maybe she would enjoy this <laughs> video, if no one else does. I have a nice big thing of Italian bread. Don't ask me what kind of bread it is. It was just called Italian bread. And I'm going to cut it on a bias. For a couple reasons. The first is that it looks pretty. And the second is that it's easier to bite into. Like when you toast the bread, it's easier to bite into that angle than like a straight angle. I don't have a straight angle to show you. I'm sure you know what a straight angle looks like. But yeah, it's easier to eat. Okay, I'm now going to paint on... Oh, I should turn on the skillet. Turn on a pan <laughs> and paint olive oil onto all the bread. Now, hopefully that's hot. We're going to grill, or I guess fry, the bread. It's delicious. Don't, you know, don't question the deliciousness. Just fry the bread. Flip them over, not with your fingers, because that's starting to hurt. <sighs> the next thing we're going to do, because obviously bruschetta is made out of tomatoes, is cut up some tomatoes. I picked a red one and an orange one, which confused Steve, but I think it'll make it pretty. I also like to take the seeds out, because I think that the seeds make everything taste really sandy. So I'm going to take those out. Okay, and then we'll chop it up into pretty little bat says pieces. I like big chunks because I think they're prettier. Like I don't like when it all turns into a sloppy mess of gook. Okay, so I now have a bowl of tomatoes. Very pretty. And a very dirty laptop because it's covered in tomato juice. Awesome. I'm going to take some basil now. And yes, I keep my basil in a cup because I've heard that if you take good enough care of your basil, it'll stay fresh longer, A, and B, it'll grow its leaves back so you don't have to keep buying it every week. So You take your basil. I, this has actually never worked for me, so you roll it up into a little cigar, and you're supposed to be, oh, that worked. And you make little chiffonades of basil. And add some olive oil to taste. Now this is why I'm very proud of myself, because last time I made this for my mom, she said it, uh, she wouldn't be able to eat it because bruschetta is too oily. So I made it with very little oil, and she ate, like, three pupils' servings. So, very proud of myself for making things that my mom will eat. Oh, I also want to add some salt. Just a little bit of salt, because salt makes everything tastier. Back to my bread. That kind of burnt, and I don't understand why. Take a garlic clove, peel it. Don't smush it. Rub the bread with the garlic clove. And we now have garlic bread. It is heavenly. It looks, it's like labor intensive and looks silly, but it really makes all the difference in the world. Okay, so let's make a pretty little bruschetta. No, this is not all for me. So don't go judging my pile of bread. Bruschetta in my mouth.